By the end of this video, you'll have your very own Microsoft Copilot 365 agent up and running, saving you hours of work every single week. Building an agent sounds complicated. It's actually way simpler than you think. No advanced coding or AI degree required. <laughs> Hi, I'm David and I've taught more than 1000 professionals Microsoft Copilot over the past year. So what is an agent exactly? An agent is like a custom version of Microsoft Copilot fed with some knowledge made to accomplish one single task. One single task. That's really, really important. So here, before we dive into the step-by-step -step tutorial, I want to show you an agent that I've made on my Microsoft Copilot 365. It's called a LinkedIn post from video agent. And this agent was trained by me with some knowledge to write like me and take a transcript from a YouTube videos and transfer it into a LinkedIn post. So let me just paste here a transcript from one of my video, right? I just control V, I had it in my clipboard and I pasted it right here in my custom agent and I'll hit send. And again, I just want you to understand what an agent is. I trained this agent with some knowledge to make one task. The task could take a transcript from a YouTube video and actually make a LinkedIn post about it. Look at this. My agent was trained to do multiple tasks. Step one, analyze my style. Step two, understand my transcript. Step three, give me three hook ideas. The hook is like the first line in a LinkedIn post. And then to give me the best hook and then write the LinkedIn post for me, which I just have to copy and paste, right? So this is the idea of an agent, one single task, okay? It was to illustrate what is an agent because I know this concept might be really complex to understand, but it's an agent to do one thing, one task. All right, now that you know what an agent is, let's create our first agent ever. And the agent we will create will be an agent that will write email just like me, just if it was me writing email, but it will be the agent. So we are going to go in Microsoft Copilot 365. In the left pane, we're going to click here on create agent. Here we go. You shall see this menu right here. So you have two tabs at the top, two buttons. We have the describe button, which is like the more easy way to build an agent. And then we have the configure tab, which actually you can go step by step on your own and, and just write your instructions to the agent here and add the knowledge, right? We will first start with the describe tab and then we'll switch over to the configure tab. So if you're just new to that, please just use the describe tab and uh, follow the instruction here. You can start by describing what you want the agent to do or you can try one of the following templates. We're just gonna start from scratch here. I will say, I need to create an agent that will answer my email just like it was me, all right? So we're just gonna click send here and it says, let's determine an agent, a name for your agent. How about email assistant David? Please confirm or suggest another name. I'll say, yes, the turbo email manager Dave 101. <laughs> All right. So what the agent should do, should it prioritize certain type of emails, respond with specific templates or handle any other specific tasks? Super important here. In our case, we'll make a generic email answer agent, but if you manage customer orders or a uh, vendor, I don't know, refund, you might want to do one agent for each type of emails and then you can like templatize your emails, right? Um, I'll let you take care of that. In my case, it is going to be a generic agent to answer every kind of email every day, just using my tone and voice based on examples that I will add to your knowledge. Right? So basically we want Copilot to answer just like it was us. And we are going to give him examples of emails that we wrote. So it actually understand patterns and how we type, you know, writing stuff. All right. So would you like to add any publicly accessible website as knowledge sources for turbo, blah, blah, blah. This step is optional. No, thank you. Right. We don't want Copilot to go search on some web, uh, websites for my emails. We're just going to add the knowledge in there. Right. So what it's doing behind the scenes, now we're just gonna switch to the configure tab here. And as you can see, all of these fields have been actually 
completed by Copilot. So uh, we just were in the describe tab. So that's how I will do it if I were you. Start with the describe, put the big lines in there of what you want your agent to do, and then go into the configure tab to finish the agent, right? So first thing we, we can do here is click on the button at the top and you will want to put an icon uh, for this agent that really means something, right? Because in, in few months from now or in two days, right? You're gonna get many, many agents. You will want to recognize them really fast, right? So you click here on the little uh, pen and then you can change the icon, right? And we're gonna put something really meaningful here. I'm gonna go in my icon and I'm going to actually set an icon that makes sense for emails, right? So my, maybe uh, an Outlook uh, image like that, right? Here we go and I'm gonna save. So I have my Turbo Email Manager Dave 101 <laughs> and uh, it put the description here of the agent based on what we put in the Describe tab. An agent designed to answer email, just like David Fortin, using his tone and voice based on provided example, right? So far, it is pretty straightforward, right? It is pretty, pretty straightforward. And I'll show you one tip that you will never see in any other video about agents, right? Look at these instructions here. Answer every kind of email every day using David Fortin tone and voice based on the example provided. Prioritize responding to emails promptly and accurately. Use templates provided by David Fortin when applicable. Maintain a professional tone in all communications. Ensure responses are clear, concise, and relevant. And do any specific task as instructed by David Fortin. And this part here is a little bit inception, right? I don't like these instructions. They are not really clear. So what I'm going to do, and you won't see this in any other video, I will open another Copilot instance and I will ask Copilot to write these instructions using the goal context expectation source prompt formula. Here we go. I need your help to create a Copilot agent. I want very detailed instructions. This agent will be made to answer my emails based on my tone and voice, based on the attached email examples in the knowledge that I will feed the agent. My prompt is not perfect, guys. I'm going on top of my head, so make sure you refine that. I want the agent to be casual. I want the agent to ask me the top three questions I should ask myself based on the email I will attach to it. Parenthesis, the agent will answer the emails attached, basically an email that I receive it will answer back, right? And I want the agent to give me two variation of the email, a concise one and a longer one. Please write the instructions for this agent and make it a very good and cool email assistant, all right? So basically we went a little bit inception. Instead of writing all of my instructions, I used AI to write the instructions for the custom agents here, right? So here we go. We have the instructions right here, right? I won't read them all. I will just take them. And of course, please, uh, if you do it on your side, read them. I will just remove this instruction and paste them, right? And as you can see here, uh, you have all the instructions. What I'll do, I'll make these instructions downloadable for you because I'm sure these are super great. Normally I will go through, I will read them all, make them really thorough, adapt it to your own reality, right? So I will put these instructions as a downloadable uh, Word document, absolutely free for you to download right now in exchange of your email. So you can start from there and actually start, right? So let's just go through the first step together. This is the Copilot email agent blueprint. First, the agent purpose. This agent will read incoming email, ask you or myself three smart context aware questions to cl clarify my intent and generate two versions of a reply, a concise version, a longer, more detailed version, etc. And the agent need a knowledge base of your past email replies to learn your tone and style and preference, etc. So basically here, uh, we have all of these instructions, pretty thorough, right? Pretty long. And that's really important that we have these uh, thorough instructions while we do an agent. It's really, really important. If you don't know how to prompt, go see my other videos. 
go into my Copilot Essentials course at learncopilot.ai. I show you everything you need to know on how to make great prompts. So you will need to fine tune these instructions, which we won't do today together, maybe in my online course where I go more thorough into this example. And then this, the next part of that, right? We are going to add some knowledge, right? So the knowledge is where we can add some examples. What we're going to do in this case, if we want the agent to understand how I write, we're going to upload email examples. So I'm just going to show you real quick. I made some email examples and I'm going to show you one. I made three word documents where I simply copy and pasted some email that I did. Here is an email, right? The number one. So that's how I write, right? And the second email here, is an, a welcome email that I give to people when they uh, join my email list, right? Because I give you Copilot tips every week. So here is my email and make sure that there are no images included in these because Copilot can't recognize an image into a Word document. If you want to put an image, just put a PNG. You could just screenshot your email. This should work put it as a knowledge. So here you go here. It's an email that I send to people and I just want Copilot to, to get inspired by my style, right? And uh, basically that's what I'll do. So I have three words document and you could put more guys. You could put five, 10, 20 if you want. Uh, and the more you will put, the more precise it will be, right? I'm just putting three for the purpose of this example. And I will actually upload my three documents right here. Long videos, Copilot agents, email example, shift, click, open. Here we go. I have my uploaded files right here, which are an example. All right. The capabilities, the capabilities right here. First, you have the code interpreter. What is this? The code interpreter allows Copilot agent to do some code. Let's say we will make an agent to do some analysis on an Excel file. We might want the agent to do Python which is the most popular programming language in the world. So it will help us doing charts. In our case, we don't need that. We don't need Copilot to be able to code because we're just doing email. So we're going to leave this to unchecked, right? Simple as that. You just click if you want it in. If you don't want, uh, you can just leave it out. Image generator, pretty straightforward. Uh, it gives the agent the ability to create images. So uh, if you wanted to create image, let's say you will make an agent that will help you with YouTube thumbnails. Maybe you will want this on or an agent to help you make Facebook uh, posts, you know, because you're a company and you're advertising on, on Facebook. Uh, so you can check this on or off if needed. Right. So, so far, pretty simple. Right. I think the most important part was the instructions, right, which you can download below this video right now and just copy and paste and adapt them to your reality. And then you have the suggested prompts, right? And the suggested prompt here were made by themselves, right? But think about if you will make an agent that will be available to like your whole business, maybe you will want to put some very specific prompt here that people might have as a question. How do I answer an email that asks me for this kind of order? What do I tell a customer that is complaining for the fourth time? Can you draft me an email for or refund policy according to this or that department, right? These are all the kind of, uh, of, of suggested prompt with the message that you can set. So uh, let's respond to a client inquiry. So basically you can have six of them at most and I will show you in a second. That was a lot of value, right? That was a lot of information. I know if you need to look back in this video, feel free to rewind, rewind. I'm not sure how we say that in English. Um, and, and then now our agent is ready. Our agent is ready. So let's test it. I'm just going to click here on create, create agent. It's loading up. All right. It takes a few seconds <laughs> and it's going to show up to the left here on the pane that you see right now, right? Uh, here you go. So my agent is only working for me, but if I change the sharing settings here, right? Uh, I can change the sharing setting and I can put anyone in my organization or only specific users in my organization. In this case, it's my own emails. I'm not doing it for the whole department, but you could create some agents for the whole department. Let's keep it to only me right now. And then I will go to agent. 
And as you can see to the left here, I have my turbo email agent, right? And if you click on all agents, well, you see all of my agents that I have right now. Let's go back to the turbo email manager day 101. And as you can see right here, these are my suggested prompts, right? We have six suggested prompts here. So we can basically click here, respond to a client inquiry. And basically, uh, it's going to help me draft. We're not going to use these six uh, pre-built prompt here. What I'll do, this agent was made to upload an email from a client and it's going to answer this email, right? So what I want to do here is first test my agent, right? So let me grab an email and just paste it in here. Turbo Email Manager Dave 101 right here. And I will tell Copilot, I received this email from Francis. And then I will just paste the email. There's many ways to do that here. You can actually go here, click on the plus and add content and find the emails in your emails. You can copy and paste it. I prefer that to be honest with you. And uh, you can also attach it as a PDF or a Word document, but make sure that your PDF is actually Word that you can copy and paste, not like an image, because Copilot will hallucinate if you if it's not like actual Word. I'm just going to hit send and a Copilot will analyze my emails. It's a very, very small email that I received, right? And I didn't feed Copilot with the knowledge that I'm a trainer, I give Copilot live online courses, etc. And uh, there you go. So as I told Copilot in my instructions, I wanted first a concise version and a longer version. Here we go. Let's read the short version. Hey Francis, yes I do. I run a live online course called Microsoft Copilot Essentials that's designed specifically for business leaders. It's structured to help them understand how to use Copilot effectively in their daily workflow. Let me know if you like the link, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? I feel like this uh, this version here is very not thorough, but it's all based on the instruction that I gave to Copilot and all the knowledge that I've put to my agent. Right? So a uh, very interesting here. This is what you can have with this agent, and basically, I want to show you the difference: an agent versus not an agent, right? Because we did give some custom instruction and custom knowledge. I will open a new Copilot instance here and I will show you the results without using an agent here. I will put the exact same prompt and you will see that Copilot, you know, it's all just generic. Live online course, Copilot for Copilot business. It's not talking about my Copilot Essentials course. It's not giving me a concise version versus a long version. And all of that is based on the instructions and knowledge that I'm giving the agent. I hope that you enjoyed creating your first agent. Let me know in the comment, which tasks are you creating an agent for? And if you want to learn more in a more structured way, Microsoft Copilot, visit learncopilot.ai and follow my Copilot Essentials course. I will catch you in another video. Cheers.